For today's brush, we have the big guy. This is a, an Omega 10098, I believe. It does have a one uh, O-ring added to keep it from splaying too big. I mean, these are long bristles. I don't want it to get too big. He's been soaking for about an hour and 20 minutes, uh, as is my custom in my Bora Palooza lately. Just kind of help break him in because this is his ninth use, I think. The razor we're going to step back. A great old classic. This is a super speed. And uh, he came around in the 40s. And he is, we call him the 40s style. Um, he doesn't have the bigger, fatter handle like the other super speeds. And he's has a little better grip, a little tighter grip on the blade. A little smoother shaver for me than those like the flare tip super speeds will give me. He's already got loaded a uh, Gillette Silver Blue blade and it looks like we have about 21 uses on it. So we'll put number 22 on today. Um, I have tried uh, two other Ballon Claw soaps. It's a maker in Nebraska and it's got a good base. <clears throat> I've been very happy with the base and both the other soaps. First one was the Woodsman, which is a very uh, pine tar, pine focused scent. <clears throat> Unfortunately to me, all I was getting was pine saw floor cleaner. Um, and I really couldn't get past it, tried it a couple times. So I traded it. I traded it for Crypt, which is earth and sage. And unfortunately the sage was a little too strong. Uh, I don't like sage very much. And so I traded that one. Love this whole trade thing. And I traded it for Honey and tobacco. And this one smells great. I know that cherry and tobacco is a very common scent. And I like it a lot. And another natural com combination with tobacco is, in my opinion, honey. Because I've been smelling it from the jar for a couple days. And it smells great. Really happy with that. So we'll be loading from the puck today. Yep, I've showed you everything else. Oh, today's uh, brush water is half uh, half distilled water, half my hard tap water. So that way I don't think I need to use full distilled water all the time. All right, I've splashed my face with water kind of as a prep. I'm going to take and shake most of the water out of the brush. Just his ninth use, approximately. And this is an unsoaked tub. And we'll uh, start here at 05. <clears throat> and we'll just do a 30 second load. So we'll stop at 35. Long bristles here can sometimes lag behind you instead of staying with you. But we'll see as the brush develops. Almost there. 35, okay. Continuing to be a, uh, a nice scent. Not really changing too much when wet so far. And now we are ready to start mixing up. This is my Roger Quintero bowl. He designed it and 3D printed it. And uh, you can do the same. If you look in the uh, description, you'll see a link to the files needed if you have access to a 3D printer. Not a difficult lather to bring up. I've never had a problem in either of the other two scents. And with these long and stiff bristles, I just feel like I can beat this brush like crazy and just not have a problem. It's the one it's one of the ones that's being very slow to get comfortable. It's not comfortable yet. The smogs and zenith are already really enjoyable and comfortable brushes. But that's okay because they're a bore. There's bore brushes and it's just nice if they break in quick but there's some that don't. 
So you can't judge them by how fast they break in. You need to judge them by how they feel and how they perform after they break in. Let me go ahead and add a teaspoon. Nice. But something else is coming through. I have to try to figure out what it is. It's related probably to the tobacco. It's fun. It's nice. Make sure you bring down the stuff from the sides because that's a little bit more concentrated. Since it kind of went up there on the before the water and stayed up there, you know. So with these uh, bore brushes that are kind of young, I like to shove my brush down in them, especially when I'm about to apply it to my face because that widens out the bloom a little bit. Another half teaspoon. Still kind of a dry lather, and that's okay. We'll keep going. We'll add half a teaspoon, but then I'm going to add another half. So we've got two and a half water, two and a half teaspoons of water in there. And it is still a new brush with less than 30 or 40 uses. And so you will sometimes see occasional stray bristle hair strand break off, come loose. It's all right. Getting bigger. The honey is fading. I'm getting mostly kind of a warm tobacco scent, not really a tobacco blossom, more of a uh, roasty tobacco scent, not like an ashtray. I like it so far. A little finger test here. We don't want to let it get too wet. That's nice. Creamy. Slick to the touch. I can just feel my ridges on my fingerprints. Can I add a little bit more? Then we might try it out. Really good looking lather. Looks like I'm definitely going to have enough lather to do the job. 30 second load with this brush. A different brush with softer tips might have needed longer or 
Might have been just right if this one digs up too much soap. Let's go ahead and use this guy and see what happens. I know there's a bristle in there, a little hair. We'll find it, I'm sure. Splash my face one more time with water. Now this one's, like I said, taking a while to break in. He's definitely very usable right now. He'll hold a, a lather. He's no longer prickly and scritchy, but he's not comfortable. That's okay, he's young. Uh, these longer bristle brushes are really bad if you have thinned out your lather too much because they that just causes them not to really uh, splay out and, and kind of work like a brush should they get all they they lag behind as you're moving across on your face instead of splaying and stay staying ahead of it how does that look like too dry so we've kind of got some clumps here it does look like it's a little on the dry side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put another half. Half of that squirted out into the floor. Put another half teaspoon in the lather. I'll mix that up in a minute. And I'm going to add a little bit of water to my face. Got to start out slow or the water will just flick away. Non-shaving area right there. Let's give this guy a try. If he's too uh, dry, then I'll just leave a bunch of water on my face when I do my rinse for the second pass. Just didn't want to want to thin it out too much. Now, awesome things about these 40 style razors. Um, the little knob down here opens the doors. There's my Gillette Silver Blue. And they grip the blade really well, and they are nice, smooth shavers, at least to me. But they're very inexpensive. Oh, that's a good cut. Very comfortable. Just gliding right through the hairs. I mean, I feel the blade, but... Only just wonderful shaver and I'll tell you what, actually, there's some $300 razors that don't shave this good. To me at least, people with my skin type and hair type. All my other razors disappeared because of some weird, I'll use the word calamity. Don't get to use that too often. And all I had was this little guy. I'd be happy. I'd have comfortable shaves for the rest of my life. Uh, these old vintage Gillettes almost always are uh, brass to the core and then plated with like rhodium or chrome or something like that. And rinse. Now the lather, once I got the uh, brush away and I started shaving and then I, I rinsed, uh, I had a nice glide with the razor. Uh, I didn't really have a really creamy feel. So this one may, 
this particular soap may uh, having a few clumps here in my uh, in my on my face often that's a sign the lather's too dry but with this soap it actually might be okay you have to be flexible because soaps are just different all right so we're loading up for the second pass ah uh, good here is a bristle Yeah, see, this is a little, little drier, a little thicker than my first pass. So I'll, I'll be interested to see if I get good bonding with my skin and it protects it well. It's a lot of soaps. This would be a little too dry and thick. We've got a good, good soap base. So that's why I kept trading, trying to find some a scent that I liked. Scent strength here is a. Uh, Four out of ten, roughly. Um, it's lightly present during the shave. Enough to where I'm... It's not unscented. So I'll probably keep this guy around. A good representation of... A good soap base and... Good soap from Balanclaw. Now this little razor for me is a uh, kind of a balance between comfort and cutting with an emphasis a little bit more on comfort. So it still has plenty of good cutting traits and that's a, I love razors that are kind of in that particular comfort slash aggression level. very comfortable shave no no irritation or anything like that right now interesting just now i put on the second pass lather looked excellent uh, rich somewhat dense medium density but it felt right it was creamy and provided excellent slickness as i was moving around uh, protected me from any kind of irritation but when I went to rinse it away there wasn't really any creamy creaminess to be had and so maybe that's just not the forte of this particular soap and that's okay because I mean the main point to me is does it I mean it looks terrific does it uh, protect my face does it let that razor slide really nicely over my skin? And the answer is a resounding yes. And the lather feels good on the face as I'm putting it on. And just because I may not get a similar rinse like I do with some of the other soaps out there, that's minimal to me. It's a good soap maker. I am definitely going to end up with a nice shave and... Looks like two to three passes left of soap. And this, this is actually a really good soap for this brush because this brush likes the thicker soaps, uh, at least to me and uh, at least where the brush is right now in its age. The, uh, just the roughness of the brush, the, uh, not quite comfortable yet, but then the, the viscosity of this lather is really helping the brush to feel like a better brush. All right, third pass. Soap looks great, feels great, smells really nice. The, the honey still has disappeared. It's mainly that uh, a, a light tobacco scent. It's not a burned, uh, you know, or ashtray tobacco, just kind of a light. The honey is probably sweetening up the tobacco a little bit. It may not be discerned as a distinct honey note, but I think it's doing something really cool to the tobacco. It's gentrifying it a little bit. 
maybe uh, to make it just, I'm, I'm able to really enjoy the scent without worrying about ashtrays or anything like that. So, you know, a lot of people do throw away their blades before, you know, 22 uses, but this Gillette Silver Blue is doing really, really well. Comfortable, and it's given me a great cut so far. And this is one that's just so smooth and consistent. Um, something about the geometry. It's one of the few razors where I've actually gone against the grain in a couple places on my neck. Kind of been fine. It's a, an achievement it doesn't share with almost any other razors. All right, excellent, comfortable shave. No irritation at all. Do a little inspection. Sorry, I don't know if we're rolling or not. I think we are. All right, I think we're back to normal. Uh, how much soap did I use today? It was about three and a half teaspoons of, uh, of water, not soap, sorry. Um, three and a half teaspoons of water. And I think in the future, if I do a 30 second load with this brush, I might uh, back the lather up a little bit, the water, and just stick with either two and a half or three uh, teaspoons because this soap seems to just run a little thicker than uh, some of the other soaps. And I got a creamier feel on this third pass when I actually uh, took this level of lather and I put it on my face without any water. Look at that. Without any water on my face at all. I dabbed my face uh, dry before the pass and it really worked well. Um, now all three passes were really slick and great performing uh, as far as the razor goes. But this third pass, when I just let it be a little thicker, uh, was more pleasing in the rinse, uh, more luxurious feeling, more creamy feeling, that kind of thing. So uh, this one, I can, as I add water, I can stop a little sooner than I usually do because it, uh, it connects nicely with my face, even a little thicker than some of the other ones do. So really happy with this. I've got about two or three extra passes of, of lather here. So with this particular brush, I could reduce it to maybe even 15 seconds of loading or maybe conservatively 20 seconds of loading just to make sure I ended up with a margin pass or something like that. So really happy with it. The scent's still very light. I don't think it's going to offend uh, too many people at all, uh, but it's strong enough to where I'm enjoying it. So I think I finally found a, uh, a Bow & Claw uh, soap that I enjoy. Uh, the scent of. There's another one called Portals that I'm, I'm interested in. I might see if I can get a sample of that one. Um, with the scent notes, you know, it's always hard to tell sometimes. Always, sometimes. Oh, that's funny. Um, sometimes it's hard to tell with when you read a scent description how it's going to end up because you don't know what's going to be dominant and what won't be. All right, time to clean up. Mm. If it's recording, I'm really sorry. Uh, the camera's not giving me any feedback that it's recording. Camera must be, uh, phone must be running really slow, bogged down with something. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, timer finally caught up. Sorry about that. Um, all right. This uh, brush, I just finished dropping it with a towel. It's being very slow to open up and splay. And, uh, and that's okay. It's kind of a big-ish big knot. Um, I think they 
but as you can see I can actually squeeze it down smaller than the actual diameter up here so the way they structure the knot ball must be kind of spreading the hairs out a little bit but uh, it's still got lots of backbone and so this guy's definitely got some some break in to do I'm happy with the bristle loss just a few per shave uh, this early in the game that's not a problem at all so we'll just keep working on him keep stropping him with a towel to help soften those tips and stuff and uh, and I love this big old handle I've got big hands so I really appreciate it in mixing mode I hold it kind of like that and then in application mode I, I usually kind of use this kind of grip here that works really well so I thought when I bought this it's a pretty cheap brush if I recall correctly maybe I got it on sale but I, I thought even if I don't like the knot even if it's weird I can just yank the knot out and use the handle because it's great it is plastic um, it does have some some of these plastic seams because it's a uh, injection molded you know it's not it hasn't been hand buffed by a craftsman or anything like that you know so it does have its disadvantages but not a big deal at all uh, for that price, I'm, I'm happy with it, that's for sure. Hey, again, uh, it's not telling me if it's required. There we go. Um, getting good results. Really happy with the closeness results all over my face here. Uh, so that uh, GSB blade still cranking without a problem at all. Even at 22 uses now. So, really happy about that. Uh, bowl did great, razor did great as usual. The uh, soap, uh, like I said, I'm glad to find one that I enjoy. Uh, Balan Claw's a good maker. Probably maybe uh, keep an eye out on his uh, webpage for uh, future soaps. Um, maybe try to snag a sample if something is interesting. And I think we're good. We are good. All right. Uh, let's see what we have post shave. And uh, so, in keeping with the uh, same general vicinity of uh, tobacco, manly, distinctly manly type scents, I'm going with uh, Flying Hide from No Blotter. And I sure hope this is recording. And so, it does have uh, a little bit of alcohol in it. I shook it up just to be in case. It doesn't have, it doesn't say it has menthol, so I'm happy about that. Hardly any stinging at all, so good technique on my shave today. Nice protection from the soap, and uh, judging by the closeness, um, you know, uh, I did get a nice good close shave, and so that, was, that meant I was protected well. Uh, this guy does have like witch hazel, I'm getting old, uh, does have uh, witch hazel, aloe, um, has a couple of handy uh, positive ingredients for your, your face. I believe this is the uh, Noble Otter, uh, kind of the first iteration of stuff they had. Um, their soap has undergone another generation here recently in the past uh, several months, and it's really good stuff. I think they may have upgraded their uh, splashes too, but don't quote me on that. Uh, but the great thing is, the old version and the new version are terrific. Um, I think the new version of the soap is putting no water kind of in the in the top tier uh, because it's just that good. Yeah, it's a good scent. I really like this flying hide. All right, well, uh, I've still got a little cleaning up to do, but we're good. I uh, hope there was something here for you. A uh, if you didn't know and you are interested in trying to find a, a 40s style super speed then this is a great reliable shaver and you should be able to pick it up for fifteen dollars i wouldn't pay more than 20 uh, personally unless it was just immaculate but this one's in great shape um, so they're out there they are plentiful lots of these were made and sometimes you can even get a um, like six razors. You can make a lot purchase and a couple of these will be in there and maybe pay 20 bucks for the whole thing. So, um, so you can be on the lookout for that too. 
Uh, so don't overpay. That's the biggest mistake uh, new guys make on eBay because they don't know the value. Uh, so don't overpay. Uh, look at it. Uh, make sure there's no rust. Usually there won't be. A lot of the other stuff can be cleaned off with some uh, soaking in boiling water with maybe some Dawn in it. Uh, scrubbing bubbles with no bleach, not the kind with bleach, uh, can help to eat away some of the soap scum and that kind of thing. So they can be restored and cared for nicely and they can last for lifetimes. Really happy with this little guy. It doesn't have to be costly to be a great shave. So there we go. This is Sugar Daddy Shaves. You take care. Good night.